Um, we, are, we are going to take our Bibles this evening and go over to 1 Samuel chapter 13. 1 Samuel chapter 13. And uh, we're going to start tonight. Uh, we, we finished up dealing with Gideon. And uh, now in continuing our focus on the Think Before You Speak uh, series of messages, we're going to look now at, at King Saul. And what takes place here with King Saul for me is one of the most spectacular excuses, you might say, that, uh, that you're going to find in the Bible. There's, um, there, there, there's some pretty good ones, but um, this, this excuse or this thing that, that, Paul, uh, that, that, Paul, that Saul himself um, uses is, um, is actually not, though it is spectacular, it's not that uncommon. Uh, when you look at the, the category of the type of excuse made um, to his actions, you find that uh, people today still do the same thing over and over again. And so we're going to look at this and, and kind of get our, ourselves launched into this, though we're not going to get all of it done tonight. Of course not. I never do or rarely do. But, um, but let's look here at just two verses to start off with, and then we'll, we'll begin to, to build this thought here um, concerning Saul and what he does. But in, in 1 Samuel chapter 13, look at verse number 11 and verse number 12. The Bible tells us, <clears throat> And Samuel said, What hast thou done? And Saul said, Because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that thou camest not within the days appointed, and that the Philistines gathered themselves together at Michmash, Therefore said I, the Philistines will come down now upon me to Gilgal, and I have...